I've never heard Sergei Pavlovich ever make an excuse ever until now. In the pre-fight press conference for UFC 302, he was asked about the Tom Aspinall versus Curtis Blades fight that's going to take place soon. And this is what he said. He said it's interesting because his fight with Tom Aspinall was short notice, whereas he had a full camp with the Curtis Blades fight. So it's going to be interesting to see. Whoa. I guess they kept asking him about Tom Aspinall and the Tom Aspinall fight. And he just kept moving on and he kept saying things like, well, I'm not thinking about that now. I'm already over it and stuff like this. And he never gave an excuse or anything. He, he would just say, I'm ready for this fight and this is what my focus is. And but now, but, but, but I guess they asked him so many times about Tom Aspinall. He's like, all right, here's an excuse. I took that fight on short notice, which is funny to me because Tom Aspinall took the fight on a way shorter notice. It was two weeks and one of those weeks he was semi-injured. Like, he pulled his back, so he only trained for one week, if anything. Whereas Sergei Pavlovich was at the actual backup for the Stipe Miocic versus John Jones fight. And I'm pretty sure he was a backup from the very beginnings. So I don't get how that was short notice. He, he was, he had a lot of time to prepare. He had a lot of time to prepare. But I guess now that I think about it, it was short notice that it would be Tom Aspinall. But at least he was preparing for a fight. And they also asked Sergei Pavlovich about um, how does he feel being, being like best friends with Volkov or having been really good friends with Volkov and now he had to have this fight with him. And he said that he and Volkov had a gentleman's agreement that, that they wouldn't fight each other unless it was going to be for the title. So he thought that this was understood between them both. But when Volkov signed the contract, everything changed and Sergei Pavlovich was also down to fight. And he didn't expect that Volkov would sign the contract because of this gentleman's agreement that they had. But as soon as the contract was signed, he's like, I, ma I started imagining what the fight would be like. And that's how it was. But he said that him and Volkov weren't really best friends. They're just acquaintances that trained with each other. Like and subscribe.